shocking ancient Africa inventions that changed the world. Early African Americans made significant contributions to science and technology while going through the horrifying systems of slavery, sharecropping, and the Jim Crow era. However, this ancestry and culture of success began to develop in Africa at least 40,000 years ago. Unfortunately, very few of us are aware of these achievements because nothing is written about Africa's history prior to ancient Egypt. Here's an attempt to revive this long dead nerve. We're about to talk about world-changing inventions from ancient Africa. But before we get started, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated. Maths Only few of us are aware that many of the mathematics ideas taught in high schools today originated in Africa, along with the original system of counting. Egyptian math textbooks from more than 35,000 years ago included fraction division and multiplication, as well as geometric formulas to determine the area and volume of forms. It was possible to compute distances and angles, resolve algebraic problems, and anticipate the extent of Nile floods using mathematics. Ancient Egyptians estimated at 3.16 and believed a circle to have 360 degrees. Both the Yoruba and the people of present-day Zaire created their own numeral system 8,000 years ago. The Yoruba system, which relied on units of 20 rather than 10, demanded a significant amount of subtraction to distinguish between different numbers. This approach has been praised by academics because it required a lot of abstract thinking. Astronomy Several ancient African cultures gave rise to astronomical discoveries. Many of these are still our guiding principles, and some of them were so far-reaching that it is today impossible to comprehend how they were discovered. Egyptian astronomers recorded the positions of the sun, stars, and moon cycles. They created a calendar system with 365 days by dividing the year into 12 equal pieces. Moving water was used to create clocks and sundial-style clocks were employed. Built around 300 BC in modern-day Kenya, the African Stonehenge was an astonishingly precise calendar. The Mali Dogon tribe accumulated a vast collection of thorough astronomical observations. Even though the Dogon culture is rich in ceremonial history, centered on a number of space occurrences, many of their findings were so far ahead of their time that some current academics attribute them, instead, to space aliens or unidentified European travelers. The Milky Way spiral structure, Saturn's rings, Jupiter's moons, and the orbit of the Sirius star system were all things the Dogen were aware of. They precisely plotted orbits in this system through the year 1990, hundreds of years ago. Equipment and Metallurgy Throughout all of ancient Africa, significant progress in metallurgy and toolmaking was made. These include art, metal chisels and saws, iron and copper tools, and weaponry, nails, glue, and weapons made of carbon steel and bronze. Between 1,000, 500 and 2,000 years ago, Tanzania, Rwanda, and Uganda made advancements that were greater than those made by Europeans at the time. When Europeans learned of these advancements, they were astounded. Furnaces in ancient Tanzania were capable of reaching 1,800 degrees Celsius, which is 200 to 400 degrees Celsius warmer than Roman furnaces. According to some recent findings, iron metallurgy first appeared in Africa between 3000 and 2500 BCE. In some regions of Nigeria, Cameroon, and Central Africa, there is evidence of older iron smelting dating back as far as 2000 BCE. Some historical linguistic evidence points to the possibility that the Nok civilization of Nigeria began using iron smelting as early as 1000 BCE. Evidence of iron manufacturing can be found in the adjacent Jane Jano civilization of the Niger Valley in Mali as early as 250 BCE. As evidenced by the Uruway culture of the Lake Victoria region, the Bantu expansion, which occurred between around 500 BCE and 400 CE, brought technology to eastern and southern Africa. Engineering and Architecture African societies in the past had developed sophisticated constructed environments. Of course, there are the remarkable engineering achievements of the Egyptians, such the more than 80 pyramids and the perplexingly elevated obelisks. The biggest pyramid is 13 acres and is constructed of 2.25 million stone blocks. In the 12th century and considerably further south, Zimbabwe and Mozambique had hundreds of large cities. There, the centers of cities were enormous stone constructions. 
A 250-meter-long, 15,000-ton, curving granite wall was one of them. Large, castle-like complexes with multiple chambers designated for particular tasks, such ironsmithing, were present in the cities. The Empire of Mali had magnificent towns, notably Timbuktu, with opulent palaces, mosques, and universities in the 13th century. Africa's civilizations are as diverse as its architecture. Recent findings of stone houses in southern Africa are thought to be the planet's oldest structures ever built by humans and date back 75,000 years. As early as 2500 BCE, the Soninke people of prehistoric Ghana had now unnamed architects who carved stone masonry settlements and worked with copper. Before conquering Nubia in 1085 BCE and founding the state of Kush, ancient Egyptians and Nubia were competitors. By building a number of pyramids and other structures, the new kingdom started to demonstrate its wealth, power, and influence. This in turn sparked a new building era in ancient Egypt. The pyramids of Nubia are twice as large as those of Egypt and took nearly 700 years to build. They were built for kings and queens. Medicine Many of the treatments we use today were used by various ancient African populations. Before the European colonization of Africa, medicine was better developed elsewhere than in Europe, including what is now Egypt, Nigeria, and South Africa, to name a few. Some of these methods included using plants that contained salicylic acid to treat pain, like aspirin, kaolin to treat diarrhea, like cowpectate, and extracts that were proven to be effective at killing gram-positive bacteria in the 20th century. It has been demonstrated that the anti-cancer, abortion-inducing, and malaria-treating qualities of other plants were just as effective as numerous contemporary Western therapies. In addition, olibane, capsicum, physostigmine, and reserpine were found by Africans. Vaccinations, autopsies, limb traction and broken bone setting, bullet removal, brain surgery, skin grafting, filling of dental cavities, installation of false teeth, what is now known as a Kesserian section, anesthesia, and tissue cauterization are just a few of the medical procedures that were practiced in ancient Africa before they were practiced in Europe. In addition, while this idea was still new in Europe, African civilizations routinely perform surgery in an antiseptic environment. Navigation Most of us are taught that the first people to sail to the Americas were Europeans. However, a number of pieces of evidence indicate that ancient Africans may have traveled to South America and Asia hundreds of years before the arrival of the Europeans. Waterways spanning thousands of kilometers in Africa serve as trading routes. Numerous prehistoric societies in Africa constructed a wide range of watercraft, including tiny reed-based craft, sailboats, and larger vessels with numerous rooms and even cooking facilities. Boats that were 100 feet long and 13 feet broad that could carry up to 80 tons were made by the Mali and Songhai. From this region of West Africa, currents in the Atlantic Ocean go to South America. Small numbers of West Africans may have gone to the east coast of South America and settled there, according to genetic evidence from plants, descriptions from the time, and artwork. Modern researchers have successfully navigated the Atlantic Ocean by reconstructing these ancient ships and their fishing equipment. These ancient people traveled to South America in the 13th century at the same time as they traveled to China and back while transporting elephants. Philosophy since the time of pre-dynastic Egypt and up until the advent of Christianity and Islam, philosophy has existed in Africa. The maxims of Ptahhotep, one of the earliest writings of political philosophy, were for centuries taught to Egyptian schoolchildren. The Hellenistic, Christian, and Islamic philosophical traditions all benefited greatly from the work of ancient Egyptian philosophers. Ancient African philosophy has a long and rich history. Some examples are from Egypt, Ethiopia, and Mali, Timbuktu, Jene. A fresh beginning in the modern age in the 20th century can be traced to the 1920s, when Africans who had studied in Western countries like the United States and Europe, Western, returned to their native continent and thought about the racial injustice they had encountered there. They felt Anuma upon returning to Africa, which is an interpretation of frustration. The Onuma was a reaction to the global effects of colonialism. Onuma inspired some people who had traveled and returned to make an organized beginning of philosophizing the African identity, the place of African people in history, and African contribution to humanity, 
which is why the resurrection of African philosophy in the 20th century is significant. The old wealthy and intricate cultures of which people of African origin are descendants have produced a vast array of technology. Hopefully, more research in this field will be done in the future, and more people will be aware of these outstanding accomplishments. There you have it, Displorers, shocking ancient African inventions that changed the world. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe and share with a friend.